It's always your choice. And when you make the choice, you own it. It becomes yours. You possess it. What are my principles about right and wrong? What is right and wrong for me? And that creates a boundary for me in how I function in the world, how I navigate through this world, how I can help facilitate my choice making and my decision making. Former Oakland Raider Robert Watts said that one day he ran across a group of kids just hanging out and using the pool on his vacant property. When he tried confronting them, they ran. But Watts caught up with them. He sat down and talked with them about what they were doing. He developed a relationship with the kids and helped them to improve their behavior. I found some value in kids. And I think that these kids, because of the fact that I see the value in them, turned around a 360 from the behavior that they were exhibiting prior to me engaging them. Watts wants us to remember there's no such thing as a bad kid, just kids without the opportunity to be good kids. You make a decision for the weight. You make a decision for the study home. You make a decision for your homework that day. Don't you ever in your life, ever, ever underestimate the power of a decision. Maybe you don't want to be the leader, and that's okay. Step down. But it's about having courage to say that, look it in the face and deal with it. It's about being able to know where this company needs to go, this organization needs to go, where this family needs to go. So you can't turn me around. You can't deter me. You don't have enough to do that with. Because wherever you found me, I made it there. And if I wake up tomorrow, I'll make it there too. Because I'm striving to get there all the time.